ETSU Buccaneers were back on the court tonight, looking to bounce back from that loss Thursday to Chattanooga. In town, Western Carolina, the team that beat those league-leading mocks for the third win in a row as we take you to Freedom Hall, where a good crowd turned out for the game and the man himself, former ETSU head coach Alan LaForce, in the house tonight. The Cats came out playing like a team that's won three in a row. Abukar Mutombo, the nephew of Dikembe, with the rebound and the score underneath. Bucks would answer, though. TJ Cromer with a wraparound to Peter Jerkin for the lay in. PJ finished with 10 points on the night. Next time down, Cromer needs no help when he drives into the lane for two of his 11 points. Then from your living room, Deuce Bellow drains the triple from the corner. The Bucks still trailed at the break by three points. Second half, the Bucks' DeSante Bradford had a huge game when he drives right down Main Street for the layup. Bradford had a career high 18 points on the night. Bucks started to pull away in the second when G-Line Gwen drills a three pointer from the corner. He finished with 14 points, but the play of the game was turned in by Bello when Cromer hits him with this touchdown pass and Deuce goes in for the slam dunk. Two of his career high 20 points. Bucks went on to win 83-77. I didn't think he was going to throw it. He threw it and I finished it. Was it, great was pass. it right on the fingertips? Was it perfect? Yeah, he, he used to play quarterback. So Coach was kind of on me. He said I wasn't really ready to play, which I wasn't in the first half. He tried to turn it on and get us a win. We got a chance now. We're in, we control our own destiny to, to second place probably. And probably first place, Chad's probably you know going to lock that up. But you know we get, we get a chance to go to Citadel, and then we hit Mercer on the road. They're with us. Then we get to play. Uh, Furman and Wofford at home. Two great home game, a home stand to finish. And